Good morning, it is May 20th, 2017, Saturday. And I am on my way to first aid training. It is early in the morning. A little bit later than I normally leave for work, but a little earlier than I'd like to be up on a Saturday. Um, uh, I'm a little bit out of it. I did no preparation for today and I do not know where my keys are, so I took my wife's keys and she may or may not be stranded at home for the next six hours. I don't think she was planning on going anywhere, so that should be just fine. Otherwise, she has an exciting game of find Paul's keys ahead of her because I'm pretty sure they're not with me. Pretty sure. So I stopped at Speedway and apparently I've spent the last 20 minutes staring at the energy drink selection and waiting for the guy to finish up working on the lottery machine. Because I had two dollars in my pocket and allegedly the Speedway app says that there was four dollars open on my on my cash card. There are so many different energy drink choices and none of them give you any kind of hint as to what the flavors might actually be. And this is incredibly frustrating. And then to add a layer of confusion on top of that, Speedway has decided to offer you amazing deals when you buy multiples of these energy drinks. And trying to find the multiple energy drink combination that saves me money in the in, in the way that I could actually have enough money to purchase these drinks uh, was more than my brain could handle this morning and my only hope was to get a lottery ticket and win so that I could buy an energy drink. Do I need an energy drink? No. What do I need? I need for my body not to have woken me up an hour before I need to get to work in a house where I have to be quiet because everybody else is sleeping. I can't tell how loud this is. The, the road noise sounds really loud. Oh, I'm a little bit sleepy. <clears throat> so. Lottery man finishes up working on the lottery machine. I go over there and put my dollar in and there are three cards at the bottom that cost one dollar. And the one I want is called Goat Load of Cash. And I, I don't know, that is just hysterical to me. I press the button and it beeps at me and where it used to say one dollar for the ticket now says dash dash dash. There's one that looks like a slot machine and one that says wild doubler. I press each of those buttons with the same results. I don't know where the lottery guy went. I go out to the parking lot. I don't see a guy. I go to the counter and I tell my tale of woe. I have lost a dollar in your lottery machine and I just saw the guy working on it. Unbeknownst to me, the guy working on it was also the guy behind the counter. Uh, he was not the person I was complaining to and the lady uh, gave him a little bit of razzing and then came over to the machine to help me. Uh, so now I am the proud owner of a goat load of cash lottery scratch off and I haven't scratched it off because I didn't want to hang out there anymore why didn't I want to hang out there anymore because I found two other lottery tickets that have already been scratched off and abandoned that were more money than I've ever put you know that I've ever bought like one of them was for $30 and one of them was for $10 that's how much these lottery cards cost. And I assume someone scratched them off, didn't win, and left them in despair. But 
there's always a chance that someone has scratched these off and they're out of their minds, found out they won and just left it for someone to find. Because I know, well, no, I imagine somewhere there are people doing these things. Maybe they didn't understand the complex nature of the card they were scratching off and really didn't know that they won. Or maybe they're just some weirdo that feels like they're doing something, uh, they're doing so, I don't know, good, malicious, it's, it's really hard to tell what they think they're doing. Uh, giving it up to fate if someone finds it or if it just gets thrown away and they don't care. It was too complicated for me to read in the store to figure out how this giant lottery ticket is played. So I left. I left with two giant, probably losing lottery tickets, no energy drinks, and my own unscratched off goat load of cash to drive to work probably a half hour early to sit in the parking lot because I don't have my keys to get me into the building where I will learn about the complex nature of Hoosier lottery scratch-off rules and maybe by the end of today I'll have a lot more money than I thought and can buy all the energy drinks I need Energy drinks aren't exactly my jam. I don't mind them, but I don't crave them and I don't need to live off them. As soon as I get to work, I'll have some coffee, uh, which I, uh, I think I enjoy coffee a little bit more than energy drinks, but it just depends on the situation. Like a Saturday when I'm not working, uh, but I am at work to have first aid training, maybe something with a little extra pep to get me focused. There's no guarantee that an energy drink will keep me focused. It might actually be the opposite. I am now first aid certified again. I'll pick up my certification card on Monday, so let's not have any incidents. That's, uh, that's my dad who's also now certified. And we are GTF and Owen out of here. GTF and, nope, GTF, O, N, yep. I'm on my way to Big Lots for the gazebo I talked about a little while ago. I don't think I, I shouldn't really be calling it a gazebo. Uh, gazebos, in my mind, are octagons made of wood with a railing. This has no railing, is not made of wood, and is not an octagon. It is a covered structure that will go in my yard, though, uh, with curtains and screens and and I assume a lot of assembly. You wanna know what's happening here? Oh, you wanna know? Oh. <laughs> Can't lose these keys. There we go. I am back at the Speedway this afternoon. Well, it's not even afternoon, it's 11.40. And I'm at pump two, which was hard to get. Uh, and I don't know why, since gas prices are 2.32. So I just put, just put 10 bucks in here so that I can get where I'm going. And where I'm going is the land of dreams. Big lots. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I was thought that was a police officer. <laughs> Riding on them rims. It were not. Hmm. So I got that going for me. Two uh two big boxes that won't let the door close. Just gotta take it slow home. Get in, Paul. Come on, Julia. Yep, get in. 
Shut your door, Paul. You guys made it. Kid comes to me and says I want hot chocolate. I found this in the cupboard. It looks promising. A non-branded instant cocoa mix. So I got the gazebo home. Haven't been able to build it because it's been raining. Uh, haven't been doing much vlogging because I've been, well, I watched Insidious 3 today because it's not going to be on. There's a walker. He's walking away, so it's safe. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, I haven't seen the other movies, but it's uh, not going to be on HBO for much longer, so I decided to watch it. And, um... A little bit silly. A little bit silly movie. Um, and uh, tonight, I will be making cavatappi and tomato cream sauce with pancetta and spinach. Uh, but I'll also be watching Poltergeist 2015, which is leaving HBO at the end of this month. Uh, so there won't be any in-the-middle shots of cooking.